Welcome to another episode of eBook Vlogs. My name is Sufon, and today we're going to do a really exciting episode. We'll be recreating a dish from Food Wars. Food Wars is actually an uh, anime where they make really exciting dishes that you never knew that it could be mixed together. So we're actually going to do uh, the gocha pork roast. It looks exactly like a nice piece of pork roast, but actually inside we're going to put uh, mashed potatoes and mushroom inside. Let's get started. So we have potato, onion, Swiss brown mushroom, king oyster mushroom, salt, black pepper, English parsley, rosemary, bacon, red wine, soy sauce, and butter. In the anime, what they do is they use uh, any giri mushrooms, which is king oysters mushroom. But we want to be a bit more different, we add Swiss brown mushrooms to give a bit more texture and send a bit more flavour to it as well. Also. Okay, we start with the Swiss brown mushroom first. You gotta take out the stock because it's a bit... Uh... Oh shit. <laughs> And we're gonna take out the stock, then we will chop it up really finely. So, next one is uh, the king oyster mushroom. So, this is a very versatile mushroom, also. You can fry it, you can roast it, you know, you can steam it as well. Also. And now we're gonna finally chop out the onion. So, make sure you keep the root end as well, because that will help us later when we're cutting the onions. So if you keep the root end, you wouldn't hear so much. Cut the onion, You go cut the You go cut the lengthwise again. And there you have it. Funny beans, onions. So now we're gonna start frying the filling, but to save time, we're actually gonna preheat the oven so that when the pork roast enters, you know, it start cooking immediately. So we're going for around 220 degrees. So right now we're gonna start by sweating the mushrooms with some onions and butter. Sweating means we're gonna go really, really low heat to actually just not colour the food, but actually just it so that the flavours get released very gently together. And you know that they're done when the onions are a bit uh, clear and translucent, uh, they always say. So it's just very important to season as you go. Just gonna cook it really gently, show it lots of love. Okay, so it looks like they are almost ready. So we're gonna add the mushrooms. And then also the anigiri. So we're just gonna sweat them again. Just cook it without colouring, that's the most important thing. Because once you colour it, then it gets very hard. It's a pinch of salt and a pinch of black pepper again. So we are building layers, season bit by bit. Mushroom filling, done. They're gonna start feeding our potatoes. So what we chose is actually a russet potato. What we're looking for today is to have a good amount of starch, not too much, not too little, so that our potatoes stay really nice and dense instead of being too light, then it breaks up. So today is all about the starch game. So after rinsing them, we're just gonna start cutting them. What we're looking for is actually just cut them into even pieces so that they boil really quickly. But at the same time, not so small as well also, so that it retains a lot of starch as well. So looking at something around this size. So what we're going to do is we're going to boil the potatoes. So it's very important to start with cold water, because you start in hot water, then the uh, inside wouldn't get cold. It's been around 15 to 20 minutes. And you know the potatoes are almost done. When you take the largest piece, you take a toothpick, and the toothpick should be able to insert really cleanly and cut out. Then we're just going to drain them, then we're going to start and mash them. I'm using a potato masher, so I'm just going to mash it up. At the same time, I'm also going to add butter to it. So butter gives it a very nice, luxurious and smooth mouthfeel. One thing to note, this butter is actually melted butter. If you add cold butters, it won't mix as well as compared to hot butter. So in the anime as well, we noticed that they didn't put butter. But you know, you want a bit, a bit more like a smooth feel to it. A bit more luxurious mouthfeel to it as well. So now that they've been mixed up already, we're going to use a spatula to actually mix it around. And now we're going to add the onion and mushroom filling that we prepared earlier. Alright, so now this is the most fun part. We're actually going to start assembling the pork rolls. So we're going to start by layering, doing up the base first. We have this butcher's twine here and we're just gonna lay it nicely. Once we are done here, we're also gonna lay the bacon. I'm just gonna form the potato filling into a really round and compact ball. Yeah, look at it. It's a very nice compact ball. So you see, because of the starchiness that we put, it stays nice and compact. Form it up really nicely and then we are just gonna cover it and then tie it up and we're done. And right now, we have this very nice fresh rosemary and we're gonna scatter it around the pork roast. Pop this in the oven at around 220 degrees for around 20-25 minutes. It's gonna finish up with a very lovely red wine base sauce. We start by heating up the pan up on medium heat. We're gonna cook it down to about half of its volume. And we're gonna add the soy sauce next. Notice that I didn't add the soy sauce with the red wine because I didn't want the soy sauce to get reduced so much. I noticed also in the anime that they put sake and red wine. But we tried experimenting with it and realised that it tastes a little weird. We're just gonna season it here. Okay, right now, we're gonna lower the heat and finish the sauce with butter. So this is a very classic French technique where they add in a ton of butter at the end of the cooking process. This gives the sauce a velvety and smooth more feel to it. Alright, so we're done with the sauce. And just nice. The pork roast is also ready. So we can take it out right now. We're gonna plate it by pouring the sauce all over it. And then let a few people try. So 
Hi. 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 Yeah, I also watched the show, so I sort of know what it is. Yeah, I also watched the show. <laughs> Liar. It looks like it's bacon wrapped something. I guess more pork in the middle. It looks like a huge roast pork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything with bacon looks appetizing. It's quite impressive that you made this in an office kitchen. Yeah, yeah, man. It was smelling so good for like yeah, a yeah, good yeah, yeah. two hours. Oh. Watashiwa is going to see whether this is. Elite culinary school material. My clothes better fly off, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's copper thing and I would totally eat this any time of the day. The potato is like damn nice. Yeah. The sauté are the bacon sip in into the potato So the potato has like a more savoury taste Instead of just being like buttery And it's not dry because it's got the mushroom It tastes yeah. like Christmas mm. Mm. It's only potato and bacon but it tastes like a fine dining meal Like I would totally yeah. pay this right? Yeah And we're not even the part of people who will hype things up Yeah you know? Actually I like I don't try to do this soup on <laughs> <laughs> This is the nicest thing that Ibu has given me to eat <gasps> So that's <laughs> nice Stop it. You want to eat? Producer? Yeah. Mm. Huh? Got another batch? Yeah, I bought that one. Mm. Cheers, Supon. Thanks, Supon. Thanks. Mm. And my tongue toe, my tongue toe also up. <laughs> <laughs> so after watching the ladies completely destroy the dish, I think it's very nice to see that it's well received. Actually, it's not that difficult to do the dish. I think I definitely recommend people to try making it at home. Quick, it's affordable, and I think people like it. So, very simple ingredients. So, if there are any other dishes that you want to recreate for Food Wars, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this episode of Ebook Vlogs. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the other videos over there. And also, to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!